Hey, I'm Dukes on Twitch. If you want to support the channel and greensunsinit.com, you can find my Patreon, merch store, and single store where you can buy singles through TCG Player or Card Hoarder in the video description. If you want to get in contact, you can also find all that info in the description below for things like donation deck lists or just wanting to reach out. All right, let's get right into it. Hey team, welcome back to Dukes on Twitch. Back today with a list from Harry Hackett who recently top forward a legacy challenge with Abzan Maverick coming in third place, I believe. So a huge shout out to Harry for his work on the deck and obviously, yeah, sticking to what he knows and performing really well with it, which is really great to see. Uh, this list is right up my alley. This is the color combination that I love with Maverick. It has things back like Mother of Runes and Scrib Ranger, Tireless Tracker, Palace Jailer, uh, Fiend Artisan, just a lot of flex in both the Green Suns package, the Fiend package, and then also cards like Bujukvog in the Mana Base, which I haven't been the biggest fan of. Uh, but I will say that in testing, Sorcery Speed Bog has been great. You can obviously also find it with Knight of the Reliquary, which makes it a lot more powerful, but it is... yeah. Uh, I think that maybe I tunnel vision too much into not having crop rotation, not having Elvish Reclaimer, and knowing that the earliest I was going to get Bog Online was turn 3. If you go turn 1 Matter Acceleration, then turn 2 Knight into turn 3 Hold Up Bog, which I think against a lot of the fast combo decks, you don't... that's not good enough. But you do have Ley Lines on the board in this, in this deck, so... I think having uh, Bog against some of the Uro decks, uh, or maybe like a slow start off uh, Death Shadow with things like Murktide or uh, the Big Troll, can be pretty nice. Uh, also in like the other night matchups, it's just nice to have a bog on the deck because a little bit like Green Suns, the more versatility you put into your mana base, the more night scales and how good it can be in uh, in things. So, uh, any intention to argue the Carpet of Flower with all the Loian around? I'm not too sure what card that is. That might be the... I really like Carpet for the Delver matchup. Uh, that's where I really see it performing. Uh, and also in some of the four color shells that play a lot of islands, it can be quite nice to have. But yeah, Carpet against Delver has been pretty eye-opening in how good it is because I haven't played it traditionally in the past, but when I have played it, it's always performed. So it's it's getting to the stage where I think it's just it just should be there. Hey, Dread, a huge thank you for the sub three months is very much appreciated to loma boy nice to see you in chat if you want to see loma boy and i co-stream four color loam through uh, a league you can now find that live on youtube via this link um yeah i think carpet's still really good i i, I really like carpet so i've been pretty stoked with it um how much else to say let's get into some leagues um Really love like the two thought seas, one deafening silence. There's like different ways to play around different decks, um, but we'll go through that. I have not done the stream uh, with Mapton, but you can see that coming up. <laughs> I actually can't even type in my chat. Here we go. You can find all the information for that at Summit. Uh, so the Green Sun Summit this year is going to have. Seven co-hosts, as usual. They will be Phil Gallagher, Michael Mapson, XJ Cloud, Pleasant Kenobi, Eli Goings. Ah, so close. So close. Uh, Mark, Mark, of course. Uh, Mark Strassman. And... Come on, man. Here we go. Julian, of course. Uh, Julian from Everyday Tell. So that should be pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, the Palace Jailer is mainly a target for Fiend Artisan, which I don't mind. I think with this deck being on 25 creatures, you have a lot of ways to protect the Monarch. And obviously with Orcish Bowmasters as well. Um, I really like that. Obviously Orc as well, just being a really nice way to protect both the Monarch uh, and get rid of things like opposing Orcish Bowmasters. So pretty happy to see that 
gameplay points. Nice gameplay, very cool. Yeah, Palace Jail can be a bit feast or famine, but I think that Harry's put together a really nice list that can support it because you have so many ways to protect the Monarch, which is nice. But yeah, just really nice to see him do well. Very good Maverick player. And to get another challenge finishes is great. Hey, Newton. Yes. For all of those also wanting to catch Newton and I on stream tomorrow, we'll be going live pretty much this time tomorrow uh, with a Cradle Control list and also really keen to get some thoughts on Newton from what he believes Maverick should look like with a Fiend Artisan build for the deck. So if you're keen for that, definitely tune in in 24 hours from now for the real Pro Tour. <laughs> Pro Tour content has been has been sweet. I was up all night watching it, uh, especially the modern content. It's uh, yeah, it's crazy to see how much modern has changed since two even two years ago. I feel like the mod the modern format kind of rotated with Modern Horizons and then again with Modern Horizons too. Uh, sad did not see too much hammer time around the top tables, at least on camera. But I don't know too much about modern at the moment, so I can't comment on where Hammer's positioned, but I really like that deck. I think it's a, a sweet deck. Yeah, Once Upon a Time has been nice as well. Uh, there are times where you do rely on it for a green source, and maybe that's that's something that I want to... I'll definitely put some questions together for, for Newton tomorrow, because I find sometimes I keep a hand where if the Once is a fetch or a green source, it's fantastic. But if the fet if the uh, once misses, that's it. Like that's just the the small snowball that starts for a, a deck like Maverick, where you know if you miss on your first sort of turn one and your turn two plays a, a mana dork, it can be pretty rough. But yeah, when it's like four spells, wasteland, planes, or another like colored non green source, and once it's like oh, this has got to hit surely. But there have been a lot of times where once has been great. Very macabre is obviously a card you can dig for against graveyard combo. Endurance, very similar. I have played Solitude as well in a spot of Palace Jailer before in a list like this, so that should be pretty cool. Wiltron, I'm very pleased. Uh, I know you've been playing around with modern Yorg, I believe, which looks really strong. It was very cool to see that deck get some camera time at the Pro Tour because, again, some sort of creature toolbox deck big fan i nearly have the deck as well i don't have the cords but uh yeah really powerful especially with the new samwise g that combo is is pretty out there it's also cool to see cards like cat from standard make its way into modern uh a little bit like how it's great to see modern decks like rhinos make their way slowly into legacy uh, or even Hammer at the hands of Crusherbot. It's been doing really well. Yeah, Mav is cool. Currently finishing up a piece for the Green Sun Zenith with some with some uh, opinions from Mark, Harry, and Jono, aka Dreadnought. Geo dude, okay. Uh, I don't mind this hand. The the oop kind of makes this a six. A questing beast you could say could make this a six, but we have a tournament acceleration into a fiend and wasteland. If we draw another land, I'm more than happy. We have endurance against some of the, the faster decks, so. Pretty happy to keep this. I'm probably just going for a Bayou here because Grist off the top would also be a huge win. So seeing pretty good there. Hey Strass, good to see you as well. A big thank you for your thoughts again. Um, looking to push that article live tonight. So 
very, very happy to, to go through your thoughts. It's always nice to read your thoughts and be like, hey, I agree with all of this, pretty much. Hmm. Orble, okay. Delver? No term on play from them. A land here would be perfect. We don't hit a land, but... Um... Bowmasters is a little bit rough. I probably don't mind just double spelling here with getting Collector Oof into play. Also kind of forces the bobble. I'd rather run the Collector Oof into Days as well. It's more than the Mum. It's also quite nice if Cradle comes out. Bobble targeting themselves, which is nice to know when to fetch. Honestly, here we can just six. Which is kind of the nice part about Maverick Online. You can just six a lot of the time against decks where you don't need to hold up Endurance. Just an island. With the Wasteland in play, that makes me think their mana might be a little bit sketchy. Hmm. But even having the oof as a threat on the board that we don't really care about, they choose not to shuffle. Wow, no removal either. Well, I think here we're just going for beast, right? Beast hold up endurance pitch. Really get some damage going. Let's go for savannah as well. Just to make sure if we lose the hierarch, we still have white mana. Could also play around days if I really wanted to, but I think here I'm happy just to, to jam and really put them behind if they do have days. That's fine. I guess there's a there is a world where they have Merc Tide, but having the Endurance Plus Mum makes me a little less uh, likely to want to like aggressively endurance here. Okay, <laughs> not Delva. A land off the top wouldn't be bad, a green card for Endurance. A land allows us to play the Fiend and also just hold up Endurance. Probably more so happy just to cast the Fiend. Could also Endurance myself if I really wanted to, to put the Beast back and then go and fetch it later. Of course. Jad normally on Dark Depths. Oh, sorry, uh, Doomsday. Okay. That makes sense as well. So they just pick, pitched a Predict. Hey Hyper, thanks for the follow. A huge thank you. Actually, just a past 3.5k followers on Twitch, which I know it's just a number, but appreciate. Appreciate every single one of you. Really cool to see. Especially for a little Mav guy. I'll also make sure I take a photo of this, just to see what's in their deck. So they go down to 
If they go down to six here, we do just have endurance to get there for six. Hey Miriam, a huge thank you for coming on at 3 a.m. from Ireland. I hope you're having a Guinness for me. <laughs> Drink. Very cool. So you lose half your life rounded up. So that's 5.5, .5, they go to 6. So I, I think it's worth trying to just endurance them here. Because then at least, like if they have the days, they have the days. But otherwise, we get to attack for 6 back. We could also put them down to 2, potentially, just by fetching Dried Arbor. Holding up the endurance. Hey, Harry. Too good to see you. Okay. Harry, what are your thoughts here? Uh, would you just go for it? Or would you hold up the endurance? See, I would think they would play around the endurance. Oh, they're at five? One, two, three, four. Oh, okay, so dried up still doesn't do it. So nothing too different here. Um, like, yeah, Teferi, they got Strix in there, which is good to know about. Uh, no Merc Tides, so a little bit, like, quicker than usual. They got the Unearth plays. Oh, four days in the yard. One, two, three. Okay, one day is one force, two days one force, two, two, three. Oh, there it is, four, okay. And then there's a force here, and there's a force here. Okay. Nice. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. And that is actually fantastic because I think that's something that I should have done first up. I should have gone, hey, what do I lose to if I do play the do play the endurance? How does my opponent have ways to get rid of it? And by going, hey, there's four days here, and there's also four four force, like I actually don't think they have another card that could get them there. So very cool to get there, game one against Doomsday. Cyborg cards. Um so one card that I do want to make mention of post board is definitely Opposition Agent. That card has been a, a pretty big one for me recently. I think we could take out the Bog here. Some of the longer game stuff like Tracker and Jailer. I don't mind Beast, against, especially post, um, post Doomsday. Uh, we do like the, the Thought Seizers. Deafening Silence on the play is decent, but on the draw it's a little bit tough. The Agent, I, I do like. I think like Agent for Tracker is an easy one. Um, and then probably two thoughts he's over the Jailer and Bog. Um, I might not want all four swords. I could easily see like two swords coming out. We do have Bowmasters to deal with the Baleful Strixes as well. This also isn't much of like a Scrib Ranger matchup either. So I think there's probably a world where we could look at something like uh, Choke or Carpets. I think Deafening Silence is still good enough to be in the deck over a Swords. Um, Choke's always interesting if they go for Doomsday and pass. I think I'm happy to try out like a Choke and a Carpet. Uh, then we still have Outland Liberator if they have something spicy. You cut Swords completely. Yeah, maybe with the Thought Seizers and things like Bowmaster, we just don't need to worry too much about. They almost always play around it. Yeah, that's fair. I don't I don't mind this. We do have Caracas for Shieldred as well. That's that's true. Shieldred's one I didn't think of either. Uh, so here we have Mana a little bit rough because we have the Green Suns and Dried Arbor. 
I also love this song. This is one of my favorite songs in this playlist. So big shout out to Stream Beats by Harris Heller. Um, honestly, I could see mulliganing this. It's great turn two onwards, but not having a turn one play is pretty crucial. Like no Thought Seize, no Deafening Silence, no Green Suns for Dryad Arbor, no Mana Dork. Wow, okay. Now we're kind of spoiled for choice. Here for me, it's between the Knight and the Fiend. I do like that Fiend um, can go and like get other cards. And it's just a little bit a little bit lower to the curve as well. So I think Yama's gonna bottom the knight. We have a lot more copies of it as well. We can't cast Fiend, that's correct. But maybe that's why we keep the knight. Like, it's not like we have the luxury of getting dried arbor off this verdant to get ready for the fiend, so. I could actually, yeah, see dropping the. The fiend. They've gone to five cards. Okay. They chose to shuffle, which makes me think they're looking for lands, potentially. Once is a really nice draw. I think here I'm happy with both a Mana Dork and also a land. Planes is a little bit rough. Hmm. I guess if we kept the uh, Fiend, we wouldn't be able to cast it off the Planes or Caracas. Now the big question here is uh, Thoughtseize or Deafening Silence. Seeing they shuffled, I'm pretty happy to Thoughtseize here, I think. Because taking like another cantrip would be pretty huge if they just want to go Island Pass. So let's go for a Bayou. It's, it's, it's risky though. There's a few things that could happen. Okay. This is a tough one because if we get another turn, I don't care about the Dark Ritual. I kind of want to take the Baleful Strix here. Like, Force on the Deafening Silence isn't the worst anyway. Yeah, Deafening Songs turning off Dark Ritual Doomsday is quite nice. Maybe it's a case of allowing them to have the redraw with Strix and just taking the Dark Ritual to turn off Ritual into Doomsday. But I kind of like taking the Strix here. It turns off the Force for what we currently know. It doesn't draw them another card. Yeah. A little bit risky but i th i think if we th if we're thought seizing first we can't take the ritual because we have the deafening silence we've kind of like put ourselves in that position and it is just a pass back which is nice now a deafening silence that lands okay so that kind of leaves them with the the dead dark ritual for now Just a pass. Okay. I think here I'm happy to throw the knight into a force, not the choke. Ooh. 
Mentor. Okay, not too bad, especially with this Deafening Silence. We also get to Choke here if they don't have a blue card. I mean, Carpet's pretty nice as well. Carpet allowing us to cast the Choke is pretty sweet. Oh, no. Each player. Mmm. That's all good. That's all good. Um, we can still... Sorry. That's the ad. That's pretty bad. Uh, we can still cast the noble and then we could wasteland here we could also just hold up the knight up cradle into endurance is pretty nice i don't mind that yeah getting cradle online for this plane is pretty sweet also it's going to charge my headphones because that was a mistake all right no attacks i think i'm happy to go for oh i guess if they have Opposition agent, it's a little bit rough, but if they have agent, they tap out. I think that's actually fine. Because then we have the choke. They do have Unearth, so I am going to target them. Oof. Okay. I do have the option here of taking them off the scrubland, which honestly I don't mind. They're going to ritual in their upkeep. But they didn't play Opposition Agent. Maybe they're just trying to get a Mentor token. That also means this Opposition Agent can't be countered, which is huge. Really tough spot for them. They need to cast something here to even have enough blockers to block everything. Yeah. Really tough. I think one one key thing with there was the mulligan decision. Another was just drawing gas, let's be honest. Like, 
we didn't draw into any cards that didn't really have an effect. Like, I think Liberator was probably a 2-2, but other than that, having both Deafening Silence and the other one was pretty nice. Nice for Jared to also give the GGs. That's always really nice, because they did Mulligan there as well. Very happy. Yeah, Doomsday, typically, especially that version with Rituals and Strixes, a lot tough. Lost a close game three in the semis to Doomsday. Yeah, they can they can come down to it. That's definitely a matchup that I I um I try to give my all, but it's definitely challenging. It's also one of those matchups where it, sometimes your your combo hate doesn't line up that well. Like Collector Oof can be good, Deafening Silence can be good. That's why I really like your thought your choice of Thoughtseize. I think Thoughtseize against most combo decks is always going to be stellar, but um. Also, depending on, like, how they play their game as well, like, in that matchup, if they had a bunch of, like, Merktides instead of, uh, like, Merktide instead of, um, Mentor, yeah. But, nice to get there. Thankfully, I don't have any Doomsday players locally, so most of my weekly games... Hey, Geodude. Very cool to see you here. Pretty tough um, going down to five, I believe, for you in that, that game. And then I think after just to have, like, Thoughtseize into DS, into Threat is, is really good. But I think that's a case of us getting lucky and... Yeah, Doomsday is not doing what it typically does against Maverick. But you're welcome. You're welcome. I hope the rest of your league goes well. Right, Vanilla. The real questions from Newton. That's always tough because we did we did talk about taking out most of our uh, removal. Um, I usually keep a swords in for something like opposition agent, which is I guess similar to mentor that it's going to go wide, which is tough. I think it's tough because just the mentor didn't line up against our knight, and also endurance as a three four is is, is kind of annoying, and then deafening silence as well to stop you from going wide is quite good. Pretty happy to keep this. Uh, manners online, endurance for uh, any sort of combo decks. Having the once as well for a fetch is great for, for a black source. Oof. I think finding Wasteland here is probably the best card for us. We don't find it. We actually don't even find a land. Do I even want to show the Orc? I assume this is going to be a Echo deck. We don't have a Black Source, but... I think the upside of drawing into a black source is just too high to not take that. Okay. Yeah. 
Echo with Orc is just a bit rough. Uh, this will be an interesting one. I probably like the Forces, the Thought Seizers, the Deafening Silence. Not sure on the Ley Lines. I think, again, this is going to be a fast combo, so taking out things like Tracker and Jailer. Yeah. That's true. I guess Leyline turning off Echo is, is nearly good enough. Oof seems great. Scrub Ranger, not so much. Mum, not so much, especially with Orc. Endurance, I can see thinning one. Maybe even both. And then just relying on the ley lines. And then... Bog's probably just a little bit too slow. Brainmaster once. Knights. Beast. They're probably a Khan deck, so I like having the, the beast in the grist. I probably don't mind just going down on swords, but swords is just a nice answer to orc. I, don't, I like it at one mana. I'm just going to go down on a fiend. There's not really a white creature we want to go for, so... Um, I'll keep this. We have once. Dried Arbor once. A little bit tough if they have a turn one orc to kill the dryad, but we could also just try to go for Greenland, play Wasteland. Or Greenland, play the land, then Wasteland, cast once, find a land, play Grist or Knight. Opponent's gone to six cards. Hmm. I actually don't mind dropping the the arbor. The upside is that then we just have three mana for night. We also have a creature already in play for Grist if we find a fetch. Hmm. Kind of feel like they have a ritual. I think the best target for Wasteland is a Soul Land, but potentially it's a case of just taking out the Herbal here. Okay. No land. Okay, wow. Ooh. Now we're just holding up once. I guess if they play another Urborg, we could also hold up Orc. Um... Okay, yes, that's fine, because we still do have once for a fetch land and then grist away. 
the dried arbor for the children. Yeah, it's a tough spot. The only other line was potentially Green Suns for Collector Oof and allow them to have the Sheldred for a turn. But I think that getting the Grist online is probably a little bit better. It does put us down a land, which is relevant. But it would have been interesting to go for Oof there and then try that. But I kind of like just getting the threat off the board. Especially if they're like a Days Undoing deck. That would be pretty tough if they went like Soul Land into Days Undoing off the Mox Opal. Um, honestly, that doesn't change too much of what we've seen. In case of Fiend Art, in case of Opposition Agent, I also don't mind dropping a, a Fiend. The Ley Lines were nice. Forces are going to be great. Beast. If, yeah, if anything... I think we just run this back, honestly. Another Leyline Hand with also a Force Hand, and then Mana Online as well is pretty fantastic. We also have Bow here. There's a world where if they go for a Mox Opal line... Ooh, okay, that's fine. Oh my gosh. So here, before they imprint, I think we just want to hit this. Like, that's pretty huge. They can tap the Saga for mana, but they can't tap the Chrome Mox. Um, okay. I might want to keep the Verdant for a Dried Arbor. So I'm just going to go buy you here into pass. Next turn, hold up Bowmaster. Potentially play the Wasteland. Interesting. Hmm. Honestly, happy just to hold up Bow here for a turn. I could have also played the Fetch. I think it was actually incorrect. I think what we should have done there is play the Fetch, get Scrubland. The following turn, play Thalia into Wasteland. Yeah. That's, that's a little decision that can really snowball here. Honestly, a nice hand. They take the Thalia here, but we have a Wasteland for something like Saga. We have some pressure on board. Another Bowmaster is pretty great as well. With the other Bowmaster, I'm not too scared of Khan. I guess I'm a little bit weary of... Uh, Shieldred, so I might want a Wasteland here. I didn't play the Thurley because I didn't want to fetch into three mana, but maybe I was happy to trade the two Lotus Petals for an Opposition Agent. But I still got to play the the Bowmaster. I think just because of Shieldred, I'm happy to Wasteland. It's tough, though. But I think we have more outs to a Construct than a Shieldred. 
grief. Pitching in tomb. That's a big yikes for them. Orc grows here as well. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> this board state is <laughs> pretty funny. We also just have Burden here for a three drop off the top. They have two cards in hand. I could get Dryad Arbor here, but I'm, I'm happy to have this as a white source. Yeah, and that's exactly why. Knight is now also an out to Shieldred, thankfully, with Caracas. Definitely a few options there on different plays, but nice to come away with the win. Hmm. Let's see if we can get this back. Yo. Uh, on the play, which is nice. And I definitely don't mind this hand. Look, we'll take each each game and each match as they come, but it would be really nice to put on a performance with this deck. Happy to keep this. I don't mind holding the fetch either for now. Okay. I mean, here we get to go Wasteland into Ignoble to attack for two. They chose not to shuffle. Next time we're probably wastelanding and maybe swordsing a creature, but could also just be leaving a small creature, like a Delver, without Sanctuary tapped. I think I'm still happy to wasteland that. And then it's a case of do we want to play the Orcish Bowmaster around days or attack? And I'm pretty happy just to attack here. But I could definitely see a world where you hold up the Bowmaster around days. But I, I think that also just shows kind of a little bit too much of what we have. Still happy to, to throw it. Okay. I mean, there's a world as well where we don't need to Bowmaster the Ponder. We can just untap. But now they're back even further. Like Thalia here would be great. Swords isn't too bad. I'm gonna play the Dried Arbor now. Still allows us to play Swords around days. But yeah. 
Looking back, I think I I incorrectly used that bow master. I think I shouldn't have attacked because yeah, we did talk about days and we had we had the luxury of playing around it if we really wanted to. Um I think I'm happy to, to use a sword tier. We could try to untap and find something like a bowmaster, but if they want to fight over this, that's more than okay as well. We also have green suns off the top, which would be fabulous. I mean, Chayla. Uh, do we just play it? I, I think we do here. Especially with the sword in hand. That's fine. We do have the swords for this. Ooh, Zenith? I'm happy to start with swords. They're gonna force it. Too bad no Morlock, hey. I probably don't even want to attack. It's tough if it's tough if I grist and they have a daze. What else can we do? I could also just green suns for a uh fiend artisan. Which kind of allows us to grow into the, the Bowmaster. What do we have? But also Scrib Ranger. I think it is Artisan. Scrib does die to yeah, Orc as well. And no great attacks here. It's just going to pass. The swords off the top would be great, but... Artisan allows us to, yeah, bowmaster the bowmasters, that's true. They need like a bounce effect, or potentially a... Unholy Heat doesn't do it either, which is nice. They attack with both, okay. I think we just block like this. Like, Bolt still deals with the Artisan. It's 
still kills the orc. Two cards left for them. Look, I'm happy to Zenith here for Grist. Fiend again could have been okay. But, yeah. Hey, Jig. I think just to put us in a position where we had to double block to keep the Monarch. That's actually not too bad. Two cards left. They didn't have days before. I'm happy to go a little bit wide here. Hold up, Bowmaster. Attack the Grist, that's fine. Reanimate on Grist. That's fine as well, because we can just Orcish. So there are six, if we clean this away. Hardcast days. Okay. Hmm. Question is, do we even care about the grist at this point? Just a little bit. Could throw everything at grist. Play Thalia to keep the insect at bay. Yeah. Maybe we do just go for their face. And just not care about the Grist. Yeah. Play the Thalia and then see what we draw before we Wasteland. Like Endurance here would be great. Okay. Um, happy to take them off the ability to Murktide again. But now pretty much has to be like Orc and Grist, take the Monarch, yeah. Nice. Uh, 
Grixis Delva. Carpets and choke. I don't mind. Choke a little bit better on the play, but that's okay. Um, collector Oof and Easy Cut. Jailer. I think I can be patient with Jailer that it's good enough. Um, with the carpets in the deck, I don't mind the, the beast either. Probably Tracker. I don't think it, um, I don't think the fifth mana was enough for us. Like, I, I don't see a world where they, they worry about, like, days in questing beasts there. I think then they're holding up a mana and a card in hand. Because they're at one as well. So like if they cut if they draw his days, they have to attack with Merktide to even have a chance. If we don't waste land and they Merktide and then plus one, then they have what two a seven seven or like a fifteen fifteen. They pretty much have a two turn clock with Merktide. I think just because mana isn't great here, obviously we have the carpet, but the once really has to find something good. The Bowmaster early game is just so good as well. If the dried up was another land, that'd be sweet, but... Even small things, like in this hand, I really want to once just straight away before they can even play a land to daze. Not that they would, but... I don't really care, Jack. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care. Okay, I'm happy to keep this. The man is online. We have a turn one mum, one insurance. I think it's just the knight because we have the green suns and green suns can scale a little bit. Grief. Okay. Happy to leave the ones in hand. They are playing reanimate, so it makes sense. Uh, if they do have a bowmaster, I probably don't want to lose the. Hmm. Would I rather lose the the dried arbor? Dried arbor also allows us, if it does untap, to just endurance turn two. Yeah. Here's a world where we just draw into land and then Green Sun scales above Dried Arbor, so I don't mind that. My thought was potentially Green Suns for uh, Dried Arbor, but this also means that if they have a Wasteland, next time we can still buy you into Green Suns. To be fair, I could have not sixed there, but we like to play sometimes with a little bit of a challenge, so here we are. Because obviously they take a card with the grief, so I might as well just chuck the insurance away, but like running it into another another days would be pretty brutal. But we are pretty much running everything we have into another days, so. OK. 
Okay. Swords are still online here, which is nice. <laughs> Honestly, if we find a green drop, a green card off the top, this is fine. I think if they play a land and fetch, then I'm happy to just endurance them. No. One card left for them. Okay. Could have also gone just for forest there to have a green card that sticks around. Yeah, I feel like if I just throw the Endurance away to keep a Murktide off the table, then it's not going to be a great game for us. But I feel like if we can maximize the power of Endurance here by just, like, upkeep. They can fetch for Mystic Sanctuary here if they really want to. But they... I guess they still can. Could draw step as well, yeah. There's no reason not to. Guess draw steps so they don't um draw force. Reanimate our mum potentially. Fiend Artisan. Okay. Interesting. Opponent on zero cards. Oof. Well. That's pretty good. They do still have like fetch fetch reanimate our mum to start getting through, but I think thankfully that's just a little bit too slow. I'm not too scared of the artisan. Like we could get it back, but I have more than enough threats that I think I'd rather just not allow them to take the monarch. And I think that hopefully by the time they get Mum online, that potentially that's just too slow. There's Sanctuary. Okay, so they actually allow us to draw into another Endurance. Happy to attack for five. Dried up is in the bin.
okay. Nice. Hmm. Now things got interesting. Oh, and Merc. Oof. Nice. Oh, they're going to sack it. Nice. That's cool. Uh, we do have Questing Beast to get us there. I do like attacking just because they have the Fiend Artisan to get rid of creatures. Okay. Come on, QB. Um... Uh, the knight can punish us for drawing here, but I think that's okay. They do get an orc as well. Ooh. That's fine. Does that change things? I'm just going to play the second main. Probably get an orc here to ping the endurance so that they oh they get rid of that. Okay. I don't need to use the swords here. Hmm.
definitely in a tough spot. Maybe we can just ram our way in. I do like holding this as unknown though. Probably rather kill the uh keep the jailer there just in case another reanimate. And because of the carpet, I actually don't have to worry about mana, so I actually will just try to take them off black here. Yeah, especially Artisan in like an Orc build of like a mono black deck with things like Sheldred, Plague Engineer, Opposition Agent. It'd be pretty cool. Pretty happy just to run this back. Yeah. That's definitely the uh the downside of, of Jailer against decks and can go wide and, and steal the uh the monarch, but yeah, potentially going back and looking at things like how we can that was game two. Uh how we could potentially take the fiend artisan over the DRC, and then obviously if they get rid of the if they get if they get the Monarch, we at least get the Fiend Artisan back, but... Hey, K Basso, welcome. Hope you're well. But yeah, sweet games. Those are really, like, interesting, like... A lot of back and forth. Reanimate always puts things at top as well. At, uh, like, top of mind. Yeah, Reanimate seems really strong, especially in this list with Griefs as well. I think I'm pretty happy with all of this. Uh, I'm happy to keep this. The once does have to find <laughs> green sword. A green source, but I think that's that's okay. That's exactly what once is in here for. Uh, I'm actually happy just to go for Bayou. It means that our Orc off the top is also a live draw. Tough to not keep a hand with uh, removal, but I think that's that's okay. Okay. Um. Hmm. Kind of want to work towards wrist. Potentially even playing the bog there was correct, just to make sure we have an untapped land next turn. I don't want to play the knight into bolt, and I don't really want to play the fiend artisan into a orcish.
Hmm. Okay. At least night now is a pretty... It's a 4-4, four four, which is good. A land here would be great to play it around days. Carpet's pretty... Oh, uh, carpet does nothing. <laughs> Could still attack if they have bolt, but if they had bolt, they would have gone well. Um, yeah, I'm happy to allow this. I don't want to lose the knight to a bolt. I feel like if they had bolt, though, they would have gone for the ignoble tyrock. Okay. Still on the one lands. Well, land here is huge. Okay, not a land. But we do get to go... Mum? Into Cradle? I'm still happy to play the carpet. Hey, Saito. Very cool to see you. Hope you're doing well. So they've already used two bolts. Oof. That card's really good. That also gave the Dragon Ridge channel a line. Do they have reanimate? No. Okay, that's pretty huge for us. Okay. Oh. has to be a force. Ay ay ay. Wow. I'm actually happy to get aggressive here. The knight can't sack either of these. We have a 3-4 and a mum back. Plague Engineer changes things, but we do have carpet for white. This is game three. No attack here is also huge. Yeah. Oh, we can also turn something into an orc, which is pretty huge. Oh, we're so close. Is there a world where we can get Scrib Ranger and get there by giving Mum Pro? No, because we need a forest.
Okay. So we have five mana. We could also get be oh beast and then pro does it right what if we beast and pro oh no because they have doubles yeah okay could also just beast now i feel like we're beasting this turn gonna see what if we do attack with everything but the mum they have to block at least one could also attack with mm. this is where plague engineer would be pretty sweet but i think beast here is fine Wow, that was a sweet game. A lot of little decisions that definitely added up. But yeah, maybe they just felt like they couldn't beat Beast over two turns. Yeah. Tough spot for them. Uh, some cool decks so far. And the, the deck's been really nice as well. Uh, Doomsday. Crixus, Delva, and the middle match. What was that? <laughs> what was that? Ah, the uh, Echo deck. I'm just gonna call it Khan Echo. Yeah, leagues have been pretty diverse for me as well, which is nice. I haven't run into like Delva, maybe like one in every five. Probably an average of, yeah, two, two every two leagues. But QB being pretty sweet. It would be very tough with a baby, yeah. I know there's a lot of Mavericks out there with kids that try to like, obviously Dan Neely with a family, uh, John Yannick. Can be tough. You just want to give Frodo a jet? I do want to find time to play Frodo. I think Frodo is sweet as a two mana, uh, the ring tempts you. I think it's a cool card to kind of build around. You just have Sam. Sam's cool, especially with Krakus. I really like it in DNT where you have Vial and like multiple copies of Krakus as well. But you also have a the three mana two three three two with Life Link that gets things back. Bouncing and replaying Orc. Yes. All right, squid. Uh, yeah, pretty happy with this. Uh, a little bit tough with the cradle, but we have like battle the mana and sword mana with once, so. Opponent's gone to five cards. Uh, I'm happy for them to take the ones here. But yeah, I would assume Thalia is the hit. I also want to Wasteland first, and then just pass back. I would assume Shadow, but you never know. If this is Reanimate, it's a little bit tough. Island, okay. 
drawing the arb is a little bit tough. Like uh, they chose to shuffle, so they're obviously looking for a land most likely. Honestly, another wasteland here would be pretty sweet. We also have just Verdant into Ignobled as well. Probably thinking about days, maybe. Also gives them another land drop, technically. Um, if this is going to be a combo deck because they took the Thalia, I don't mind the Fiend Artisan. So we could go like turn one, or turn one Ignobled, turn two Artisan, play Arbor, and then potentially play Cradle to get rid of the Arbor for Thalia. Uh, Savannah's gonna be fine. Yeah, I think I'm with you. With you. Uh, I think I'm with you, Jack. This is gonna be a fast combo deck. Wow, okay. One nice thing to note here as well is that because of Scrib Ranger, we also we always have a green card for endurance because if we play the Dried Arbor and then uh, return it to hand, we have the green card on on tap. I would say for endurance. Jit is legendary, correct? Roll. That's fine. Maybe this. Maybe this is going to be Shadow. And honestly, here we're going to thought seize first. I'm okay with that because endurance is a great answer, and also swords. So. So thankfully here they can't have troll and like reanimate and thought seize, so I'm happy to tap out this turn for the mum. Like, the two cards for them to get around the sword would have to be something like Troll and Stubborn Denial, which I've seen from time to time, but I wouldn't say it's a card that I would consider too much. They could also Endurance us, potentially. I'm just going to go for the Troll. Okay.
We, we could race the troll, that's correct. Oh, I actually didn't even see what life they were on. That was just incorrect. What life was he on? <laughs> I just tunneled into the sword. That, that's, uh, that's on me. That's what they gained. Six, we attack for two. They were at three? Okay, yeah, that's definitely incorrect. Because even a Merc Tide doesn't get rid of the Scrib. I don't want to play that Wasteland just yet either. Could also attack for three here instead. That's probably correct. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, team. That's that's terrible. Uh, Harry and chat, let me know how you would board for this matchup. I'm just going to go to the bathroom. Be back in a second. Choke, Oath, yeah, love it. Uh, Thalia, Collect Oof, Liberator. And then like one carpet? I think it's probably better than the cards we're taking out. And it's the card you want to see in your opener, so. And there we go. more than happy just to have our mana online here they can operate off a swamp jack but i don't think they would operate off a swamp i'm also pretty happy just to once first a little bit weird here how wasteland and carpet interact but it is the card i want I also don't think we're, we're in a position where we need to play carpet. Like, we have all the mana we, we really need, so... Forcing a brainstorm here isn't too bad. I don't think they can afford to go, like, swamp against us and try to play off the swamp. Okay. The aggressive life loss makes me think they have a death shadow in hand. Merc tide. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's go carpet. They, 
Yeah, nice. I don't mind Knight here. Just to keep building on that mana. I kind of want to keep the Green Suns around for Grist, so... If we could get in a position where we Green Suns for Grist and then have Knight to get dried up, that's pretty cool. Yeah, but Jack, I would say that probably 99% of chat has played against Delver more than you on like a, a green deck. So there's definitely room for consideration of that. Okay. Not too bad as we do have the questing beast to get through mum potentially. Petty theft. Okay. They're at 11. Questing Beast puts them to... Hmm. Seven and three. Play the knight again and then probably play the fiend artisan. Hey Finn, too good. Too good. I hope you're well. Thank you very much for the sub. Very much appreciate it. Zero cards, okay. mana six mana with the knight potentially uh i don't mind just questing beast with exalted that's pretty cool ah but if we use the canopy we die to brazen borrower plus merc tide we get a lot of time here too as well We can, oh, we can't, we can beast, oh, if they have days, beast, one, two, three, hmm, it could even just be, uh, Scrib Ranger, and then also having Endurance open, which means I just pass here. I could actually attack, return the planes. It 
see if they want to block with mom and give pro. I would assume not, just because it could run into a sorts of plowshares. Hmm, I see you, uh, saw my line. <laughs> Ooh, I have to return a forest. That's all good. We can play around that to some extent. Test borrower. Honestly, I think I just block the brazen here and see if they give pro. And don't even worry about the endurance. This is fine. They did reanimate our mum. How dare they? So let's look at this. Uh, if we untap the knight, we go and get Cradle. This becomes a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, so we get to go... Uh, sorry. Float. Untap this. Return this. Sack this for Cradle. Oh, opposition agent. Oh, yikes. Didn't expect that. We do have questing beast. Like they have to nearly block with the opposition agent. Now we're just dead to mum. So I feel like we actually have to draw a card here. So there's no way to get lethal through. Come on. Come on. Tough. So game two? Good. Okay. Uh, happy to send this back. I mean, that's what you can get for keeping a no removal. Just get beat down. There's a world as well where I fetch for the mana in upkeep, but I didn't want my opponent just to give pro greens like Merc Tide and just get there over two turns. Hmm. Cool games though. It's always interesting to see the reanimate lines.
uh, pretty happy to mulligan this. Mana just not there. Mana is here. It's a little bit rough, but I, do I really want to go to five? It's probably a case of like assessing the card quality. Like this is, this is a turn one mum. See if they answer it. If not, turn two carpet into mum. I think, it, yeah, I think we are keeping and bottoming the, the questing beast. I do, obviously don't want to play out the carpet first. I want to see if they play a... Island first. Okay. Let's go with second mum. Carpet. Just don't engineer explosives, me person. Pretty good draw. Also get to play it around days. Don't know. Don't want to attack into a bow master. So be happy just to hold back here. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good. At least it's Ponder. It's not like Orc into Fatal Push. Chose to not shuffle. Oh, they can't orc. That's true. Dismember. Hmm. Really digging potentially for snuff out. I don't want a wasteland just yet. See if we can draw a beast. No. I think at this point, I'm though, I'm happy to take them off an additional black source. Get in with one mum. Tide. Okay. Is 
This is the weed game. I would assume it's only one of each basic. They chose not to shuffle. Alright. Let's go to nine. Sadly, this is looking pretty grim, but it's just one of those things with the deck. Sometimes you just don't really draw the right side of the deck. This takes three creatures to block, I believe. six I mean we can nearly get that with endurance and questing beast the following turn but the force is there Top. I think that with this build as well, there's just better cards to take out for uh like carpets have a better like carpets better than collect oof, carpets better than Outland Liberator. I don't really yeah, I don't really see cause for that discussion. But a good mix so far. Blue Black Shadow, Khan, Doomsday, Grixis Delva. Alright, Ian. Uh, sadly, mana. Just not there. Uh, happy to keep this. Probably just bottoming the second Hierarch. I'd rather have the three lands. Well, that's nice with the fetch land. A great way to recover from the from the mulligan. Probably want to play it turn four as well, depending on what they're on. Let's see what we draw next turn. Okay. Well, thankfully here we do have the second swords, but maybe we can come back here and 
yeah, get a nice little take home package. Okay. Hmm. Happy to get by you and then just play the collector oof. Doesn't really have a role in this matchup, so if he can get you know, removal, maybe an orc, pretty happy for that. They take the sword. That's really interesting. Makes me think they have days. So I'm happy to play the mum here. Play the windswept and just pass. I guess we're also probably fine to attack here, seeing they're at 12. Okay. Still no attacks. Hmm. They only have one card left. Honestly, I'm happy just to drop the tracker here. So we can once next turn if we don't find a land drop. Like days isn't too bad either, because we have the mum for the death shadow. That's fine. All attacks, interesting. I wonder why they don't attack with the, the... Maybe they just want to be a little bit more... Like, yeah, you could attack there. Ooh. And see what we do just to know what sort of player I am. Like if I am just straight away going to put mum in front and declare blockers. I could once to find a land drop, but I think in this case I'm happy just to hold up Bowmaster. Probably happier just to hit the orc because it can grow. But I guess if I do draw a card. But am I? Maybe canopy? Maybe that's the reason, yeah. Hmm. I don't mind actually getting dried over here. I 
can just pass him back holding up endurance because Merktide would be a little bit of an issue. Animate tracker. That's fine because yeah, like you, yeah, <laughs> okay. Uh, happy with the same changes. Oof. Liberator. Carpet. Carpet. Choke. Thalia. Um, I actually don't mind this hand just because we have double carpet turn, like, for this sort of hand. Kind of goes to five cards. I think on a mulligan as well, you don't have the luxury of just going for swamp potentially, but holding up a uh, delta is nice. I don't mind the Hierarch off a of basic. like tracker into beast or potentially even uh palace shell for removal Land's fine. Nice. Yeah, really tough spot for them, so nice to finish with a 4-1. Always nice as well to play against the deck and then play against the deck and lose and then play against the deck and, and get there. Um, yeah, deck was sweet. Uh, I think the only thing I missed, just because I'm used to playing with it, is uh, Plague Engineer. But otherwise, uh, really enjoyed it. Um, sadly, the bog didn't come up, so not too much to say there. Uh, Tracker seems great i do like that it's card draw when you want uh, obviously there are times where you just have to run it into a uh a bowmaster but otherwise pretty sweet um leyland's great that's pretty good um leyland's just really nice to have as well as just like you're not going to turn one me uh which obviously sounds quite basic but yeah, that's what Leyline's just there to do. Especially against uh, a lot of the new reanimated decks running around. That's fair. Yeah, that's true. I guess Bowmaster, in a way, is our own built-in Plague Engineer. That's a great way to look at it. 
Um, Bowmaster also just having that added brainstorm effect is is great. Um, Jailer was fine. I think Jailer is quite good if you're patient. Uh, and maybe there was some spot there where I wasn't patient enough. But I think in this build as well, with so many creatures, it's it's really nice to have. Um, yeah, like Mum didn't feel that bad either in a orc metagame. I think if Mum takes an orc out, then it's not going towards Noble or, or something else. So that's always really nice. Also, like having Mum for orc to hit for then your orc to come down and, and hit their orc is, is quite good. Um, because I think... Any sort of games against Grixis where you can trade away a creature for their orc so that your orc isn't getting hit by their orc, it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, loved it. We'll open the chests. It's always a, a fun part. And there are some pretty good cards online, so pretty happy to see what we get. Uh, we didn't get any of the good cards, but... That is fine. <laughs> uh, I also don't like that it's quite hard to like now go through my collection to find these cards to, to sell off, but that's all good. Um, yeah, the deck was sweet. A big thank you to Harry for the list and for putting up a big... Uh, yeah, big finish with the deck. Obviously coming third in a challenge is, is fantastic. Especially with a deck like Maverick in 2023, let's be honest, that uh, takes a lot of a lot of guts to uh, to sign up with that. So, yeah, a big congrats. Uh, I'm going to be back tomorrow in 22 hours with Hallow Newton playing some uh, Cradle Control, which would be really good. He's also got some thoughts on Fiend Artisan in Maverick and what his sort of build would be if he was going to play uh, the deck. So that is pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to see quickly who else is streaming. Andy's still streaming, which is nice. He's been playing for a while now, so that's cool. Um, I have to raid Rooney. But yeah, sadly, just don't have the time these days to do leagues, especially at night or weekend. Um, usually, like the morning for a league is locked a lot better for me um, so we'll see how that goes i'll have to get that but a huge thank you once again to you guys a huge thank you to new followers and subs of course if you want to find me you can find me on youtube here oh my gosh <laughs> youtube here twitter and of course more info about the summit at greensuns.com summit but we'll see you next time enjoy auntie's stream and we'll catch you soon